had a viewer ask me about my collectibles, so I wanted to uh, make a little video on them. I'm gonna start off with my least favorite. I go for, I say my favorite for last, but the Silver Super Saiyan Goku is the very first trinket I ever bought. I bought it because everyone at my work had crap on their desk, and I'm like, I want crap too. And then I bought the one figurine and was like, and I'm done. But eventually I went to like Books A Million or something and I saw this uh, bowl cut Kid Gohan with a little Dragon Ball and I'm like, I have to have that. And that eventually led to me getting a few others. But but I have this uh, regular Super Saiyan Gohan and this regular Trunks. They're just flying and I don't like the horizontal pose. So they're over here because I don't, I, don't, I don't like them. And I got that Panda because my lady calls me Panda. Uh, art figurines that are posable that I still have yet to use because I'm lazy. Don't judge me. All right. Now this is uh this, this, my second favorite group. We I kind of made a little timeline from left to right. You know, we go with Dragon Ball. We got Kid Gohan, Bulma, Roshi, Yamcha, Krill, and Launch. Launch. Regular trunks, standing, not horizontal. So I like that better. Super Saiyan Goku and Sun, Vegeta, Trunks, not next to each other because I thought it'd be weird if they were like right next to each other. I don't know why. Uh, Hercule, aka Satan. And then you got Great Saiyan Man, End of Z, Goku, Oob, GT Krillin with his mustache looking just dapper and angry. And then Super Saiyan Blue Goku because I figured why not. Right back here, got some Dragon Balls, some containers. That four star ball though is serious. That's not Dragon Ball, that's David Blaine, but DB regardless. The first Dragon Ball Z games I ever played, they were on Super Nintendo. My lady got me a couple of copies for my birthday a year or two ago, and I was like, well, this is the greatest gift ever, ever, until I got this one, the Pickle Piccolo. That it just trumps all other Dragon Ball figurines at the moment. And then I got my my box set, my movies, my seasons, and my VHSs from when I was a wee little one. But then, the main collection. Kind of like timeline-wise. Got Bardock, Goku, Gohan, Trunks, Vegeta, Gohan, Goku, Gohan, Goten, Goten, Kid Trunks, Gotenks. But that one. That Majin Vegeta. That highly detailed, angry son of a bitch is why I have all these figurines. I saw that one in a store and I was just like, I gotta have it. But then he was all alone. So I ended up getting Super Saiyan 3 Goku because, I don't know, timeline, right? But eventually, I ended up just getting really into it and just started collecting as many as I could find. And I was in Jacksonville at the time. And so they actually didn't have all the figurines that I wanted. And at one point, me and my lady went on a honeymoon to Las Vegas and while most people would gamble I traveled to toy stores looking for uh, missing collection items and uh, I found all of them in stores with the exception of these Super Saiyan 4s internet man eBay pricey bastards but then uh, I even got a set of Dragon Balls next to the dragon Kami Piccolo and uh, Poronga? I don't really care about that one, but that was alright. Uh, as you can see, I have a couple that are like horizontal. I don't really care for that, but it fit the collection proper. But yeah. I, I'd hate to say it, that's kind of my pride and joy aside from my child. <laughs> and then uh, that's it.